Side Talk Podcast Episode 2. So glad to see you again, you guys, all the family, all the lovings. So last time, remember medals? So today we're going to talk about plastic. So kind of we remember medals, but this time we're going to talk about plastic next. So, so last time we talked about plastic and we remembered the medals. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about plastic. So let's read our description for today for Side Talk Podcast 2. So much is made of plastic from the fibers and polyester clothing to computer mouse and keyboard you're using right now. So in this conversation today we're going to talk about movie on plastic. So... We're going to describe, we'll teach you about more than, than just using of these substances. You will learn about these physical and chemical properties too, just like the metals one. You will also find it, uh, find out about the history of plastic. It's kind of like re- re- reviewing the same thing as metals. From the rubber balls that the ancient Mayans used through the Vulcanized rubber developed in the late 19th century to the polymers you can find almost anywhere today. There is a future in plastic, so catch it right here. So, this is kind of reviewing like metal. So, if I don't pronounce it right, you guys, that's okay. Just I cannot pronounce these words. So, let me check the audio. Just quiet. There. Yep. Quiet. All right. So, let's get started on today's lesson. So, we're going to continue learning about polymers next. So, I want you to listen carefully because this is very important. You know that all these podcasts, you have to listen. Plus, we're going to do the quiz on plastics. So, listen carefully, please. So, what is polymers? Polymers are these really long chains of molecules that are chemically bonded together. Some things like tortoise shells, certain trees, snap, and celtics are polymers. And those are natural plastics. People have used them for ages. The modern use of plastics began with semi synthetic metals like rubber. And yes, rubber is actually the sap from rubber trees which grow in tropical regions. The Mayans used in centuries ago to make balls for their games. In its natural state, rubber gets hard and brittle in the cold and sticky and soft in the heat. In 1839, Charles Goodyear discovered a way to treat rubber and make it durable. The process is called butylization. Goodyear's volcillation rubber was resistant to water, chemical reactions and electricity, and it could be molded into lots of different shapes. The rubber tree got left behind when people discovered how to create plastics out of entirely man-made or official molecules. And guys, we're not going to talk about these people because this description is very long and I don't want to 
get my memory. So we're not going to talk about the people today, but we're going to talk about a little bit. We just talk about one person, but just going to talk about how it feels, how it looks, and classify them. Big Glade is considered the first true plastic because it's based on a molecule that isn't found in nature. Big Glade was cheap, through, and temperature resistant, and people loved it. Well, polystyrene or packaging form is used in food containers, disposable cups, and plastic utensils. Polyamide now some fibers that are used in toothbrushes, bristles, and fishing lines. Polyester fibers used in a lot of clothes and fabric. And there's other ways that we can use for plastic. Plastic changes from a liquid to a solid during processing, so it's easy to design and work with. You see more and more things made of plastic. And it's safe to say that without it, our world would look like totally different. And that is true. Plastic has a kind of bad reputation with environmentalists. And for some good reasons. First of all, 90% of plastic is made of petroleum, which is a non-renewable resource. That means once that's gone... It's gone for good. The most promising research is with nanocarbons, molecules produced by vaporizing carbon with really high heat, reshaping it into molecules that are strong, slick, lightweight, and thin and stretchy enough to be made into almost everything. But nanocarbons has already been used to make bowling balls, golf balls, and waterproof cotton balls. Alright, this is the end of the description about plastic. So right now we're going to take the quiz. So, question number one. Which term best describes object with high plasticity? A. Flammable. B. Flexible, C. Regret, or D. Unbreakable? And the correct answer is... Flexible, and it's B. Number two, which object most resembles the structure of the polymers molecules found in plastics? A. This picture, B. This picture of the soccer ball, C, dispense, or D, the DNA, or body part. Which one do you think it is? And the correct answer is... A, and it's this picture here. Number three, how is violence rubber different from non-violence rubber? So there's the options. Which one do you think it is? Sorry, the screen's blurred. Sorry of this blurred screen here. So the correct answer is... The answer is B. Number four. Ooh, baked glade is a same like polymer. What is the best synonym for si- Synthetic, and sorry, I cannot pronounce it. So, these are the options if you can see it. Here's the options now, it's not blurry. And the correct answer is man made. All right. Number five, if you made a basketball out of non vacillated rubber and played outdoors during the summer, what might happen? And here are the options. Which one do you think it is? And the correct answer is... A... 
Number six, where might you find plot products made of polystyrene? The options are there. Give you five seconds. And the correct answer is a fast food restaurant. Number seven, to find a low, re low reflection plastic is used to cut pots and pans so that here are the options. And the correct answer is C. Number eight. Ninety percent of plastics is made from the same stuff used to manufacture a gasoline, B steel, C glass, or D mayonnaise. Here are the answers. And the correct answer is gasoline, and it's A. Number nine, if you buried a plastic toy in your backyard and dug it into ten years later, what might happen? Here are the answers. And the correct answer is... D. Last question. Place the following bits in sequence. So, look at the question, followed by the sequence, and look at the patterns. I'll give you 10, I will give you 15 seconds. All right, the correct answer is B. All right, everyone, we're done this podcast. So thank you for joining this Side Talk podcast, episode two, about plastic today. And we will see you guys on the next Side Talk podcast, episode three video.